we'll guide you through how to make video sound into an alarm on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Here we have a video which I want to go and use the sound from to go and use as my alarm. So to go and do this, we're going to need two apps. The first app being a converter, so we can go and take the video and make it into an MP3. And secondly, we'll then need GarageBand to go and make the ringtone. So you just go and open up the app store and then what you can do is just go and search MP3 converter just like this and pick one of them. I personally just use this top one here. You can then go and open it up just like so. Go and click on the plus button at the bottom and then click on import from camera roll. And now I'll go and choose the video, which is this one here. Then I'll press add in the bottom right. And now it's been added. I'll then go and click on it just like this. And I'll scroll down and go and click on convert and it will take a moment and it's now converting it and we can now go and export it. So I'll click on export. The share menu will go and pop up and I'll go and scroll down like this until we see the option save to files, which I'll click on. And now we need to go and save it just somewhere we can easily find it. So I should be able to go and find it here pretty easily. So I'll then press save and there it is. It's now saved. Now you need to go and open up GarageBand. And here we are. And then what you need to do is go and click on audio recorder, just like this. And it will then go and open up. Now you need to head to the top right and go and click on that plus icon just here. This will bring up the song sections page. Go and click on section A and make sure it's set to automatic. So switch that on and then click on done in the top right. And that's it. And what you'll then need to do is go just to the right of the recording button and click on that blue icon. That will make some sort of tapping sound, which we don't need. So you can just go and turn it off like so. And now just head over to the left and go and click on this sort of icon, which has like three different lines of bars. So just go and click on it like so, and it will take us to this page. And on this page, go to the top right and click on that loop icon, like a circle. It will bring up this page and you need to go and click on files at the top, just like this and then go and click on browse items from the files app. And now we need to go and find the MP3 file we just went and made. So for me, I can just look at my recents to go and find it. You should do the same. We'll go into browse and go and locate it where you saved it. But mine's just there, so it's super simple. Then it will take a few seconds to appear in this list. It now has. And as you can see, it's 1308. That's the one I had anyway. So what you need to do is place your finger on it and sort of drag it. And we'll then get taken to this page in GarageBand. And we can then go and decide where you want it. Put it right at the start like this. And now what we can do is go and choose if you want to go and sort of change the end and start points. For example, let's say I want to change this here. I can place my finger on it and then drag it like so. And then I can position it back at the start by then moving it right to the start again. And you can also go and change the end by placing your finger on the end point and you can drag it as well. So it's pretty simple. So once you've made the adjustments you want, then go to the top left and click on the downwards arrow and press on my songs. It'll take a moment and there it is, my song 11, the most recent one. And so then if I go and hold my finger on it, we'll see this sort of menu pop up and we can then go and scroll down and go and click on share. And then we can click on ringtone. Don't worry that it says ringtone, it will still be usable as an alarm. So click there and you can then go and name it. Now I can click on export in the top right and it's now being exported. After it's finished, it will say it was successful and I can go and press okay. Now I'll close out of GarageBand and I'll go and open up my clock and go to alarms and I'll click on the create button and I'll then go and click on sound. And as you can see, we then have the option for audio alarm. That's the one I just created. When you click on it, you can then hear how it sounds and I'll then press back in the top left. You can then set the time and you've got a few other settings, but for now I'll just press save and that's it. The alarm will then go off at that time and you'll go and hear the video sound you went and had.